Hey everybody, welcome to some disaster. I'm joined by Rick Price and Jasmine. Hello. 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 Playing some game of life too. Yeah, we are. Woo. Um, which map do we feel like doing, y'all? Spooky season's over. Mm. Hmm. What's the coziest one? The fairy tale kingdom in the frozen lands, Jasmine. The frozen mm. lands has a lot of like cozy fires. I like cozy fires. Let's do some frozens. Okay. All right, all right. Jasmine, Jasmine's ready for the hot cocoa season, y'all. <laughs> I'm doing Halloween too, so I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 7102. <gasps> Wait, David Hasselhoff, David the gnome? They're the same. <laughs> the same. Everybody named you've, David you've never, is a gnome. Hey, you've never seen <laughs> them both in the same place, all yeah. right? You never have. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, I'll be the witch. Here we go. I'm gonna do some snow st snorkeling. <laughs> what is that like, Ash? Snow snorkeling. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Visibility's rough. Okay. <laughs> so okay. All right. Uh, I, speaking of snow, me and Jasmine, we watched Gremlins for the first time in like 20 years or something. Mm -hmm. um, Everybody in that movie is the worst. Oh, Everyone's yeah, yeah. terrible. <laughs> They're all Absolutely terrible the people. Worst. For those that have never seen Gremlins, the core con, there's a many, there's a, a like a handful of rules to the to the Gremlin, which is rules. called a Mogwai. Um, but one of them is don't let it touch water. Mm -hmm. But it's Christmas season and they're literally the Mogwai are literally walking yeah. in the snow. Look, man. In many of okay. the scenes. And so like the thing, when they hit water, they multiply. Yes. And that little punk he has Gizmo, takes him to the scientist, goes, <laughs> watch this, knows it causes I Gizmo know. pain, oh, yeah. just drops yeah. water on totally. it. Yeah. It's so messed it's up. It's the absolute worst. And Gizmo Gizmo's literally is like out. not okay with the situation. Yep. yep, it's cruel. And then what's that old lady's name? Delaney or Deloon or... I can't oh, remember. the one that wanted to kill his dog? She's literally like, I won't give it a slow death. I'll throw it in my dryer and put on a there spin is cycle. Geez. Phoebe Phoebe Katz is the only redeeming character in that movie. Everybody else is absolutely <laughs> the worst. They're just the father who like yeah. won't give up his inventor career and like get a real job to support his family. Just keeps making the most miserable inventions. Look, the mom uh, was the only one that had any common sense. She took out three gremlins in the kitchen. Like back to back, it was amazing. Y'all, right. there, there's so much good trivia to that movie. I'm, I'm like all overloaded on Gremlins trivia right now. It's there's the movie's so great, and the second one is even better because oh, the second one's better. It's completely self-aware and it knows it's a parody one. of itself. Yeah. I, yeah, I was telling Jess, I think the second one is the one that I've seen the most because I think they don't show the first one on TV that much because it's actually got like. It's on the the higher end of PG thirteen. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I they, I don't even know if it's a PG thirteen. It's I, not I, because that it's, was it's, it's before PG thirteen was a rating. It was one of the movies that caused them to make PG thirteen. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was one of the. Yeah, that's why back well. in the day you'll you'll see a lot of PG movies that you're like, this is nearly a hard R, <laughs> right. but it's because they only had PG and then they had R. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's why all those. Um, um, what is it like the the Pretty in Pink's and the mm -hmm. Breakfast Clubs and stuff? Oh. Hey, those, those were all like PG movies, but yeah. they were very adult. Yeah, but yeah, I'll admit, I sort of forgot that Steven uh, Steven Spielberg produced the movie. Um, mm. Yeah, and like, God, it's so the weird. amount of ET. <laughs> yeah, Easter there's eggs a, there's a lot of E.T. Easter eggs in that movie. I think that's why he didn't uh, do it right. because he was like, I just made E.T. Mm -hmm. So like, this is well, too similar. He doesn't want to be the little goblin guy. <laughs> he yeah. also, I guess, was buddies with Chris Columbus and decided to like sign up on a three movie deal with him. So like one of those three movies was this. Um, and Chris Columbus, I, I actually, I was very surprised when I heard that Chris Columbus wrote that movie. Um, and that on Chris Columbus's IMDb page right now, Gremlins 3 is in the works. Oh, yeah. Did we all, like, we all rolled, like, a 10. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you just go hard into Gremlins yeah, I, right I at the start. I, I, I just want to, like, remind people at this point, this was not a podcast that we put over gameplay. I know some people do that on their channel. We just no. haven't discussed the gameplay at all the entire look, time we've because been we've played this game about was, 20 look, times now, and Rick, you can only discuss it Rick, so many times. Let's take it out on the slopes, because I am now a snowboard instructor, and you have challenged my honor, okay? <laughs> let's go down to Black Diamond, bro. Let's go. 
What are we waiting on? Oh, price price to roll. Sorry, sorry. I had to re-roll. <laughs> I, I, so, I got so into my thing. Price to do his good <laughs> surfer resort character. <laughs> Not surfer, ski, ski resort. Yeah, exactly. It's it's uh, snow surfing. Snow surfing, exactly. Snow surfing. Yes. Yeah, because um, you're you are known as, surfing the snow. Otherwise known as snurfing. Snurfing. Snurf, Lionel. I really wish snowboarders would start being called snurfers. <laughs> snurfers. I have Snurf never noticed those high-rise mushroom condos. <laughs> They're good. They're good. Have you guys uh, seen Rick. the mushroom condos? <laughs> I have <laughs> not seen the mushroom condos, Jasmine. Uh, I think snurfing is... <laughs> Did you hear snurfing is an Olympic sport now? <laughs> <laughs> Please never talk to me or my snurf uh, again. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I like that up there. I, I just want to play classic N64 game snurfboard kids. <laughs> uh, ice skater. <laughs> okay. Uh, death row. Your color and my color are too similar, Bryce. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the color's Bryce. Oh, Bryce is pink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, if we're playing uh, with Anna, I'll be green. But when we're not, I'm pink. Give me the guitar lesson. I mean, Ooh. I sort of expect you to both fight over green. Or pink, I mean. <laughs> yes, that might happen sometimes. Depends on how cute it is. Depends on how many games we're playing with Toadette. I feel like it's a, it's a game of it. willpower, Well, honestly. it's like, yeah. It's, what it comes down to is if there's no Toadette and there's only Peach, that's when we fight. Mm -hmm. And that's when y'all just say, let them fight. Yeah. Uh, I will be separating you two, um, <laughs> just so you know. Okay. But I can only do so much. I'm just cruising along. Um, throw a party, Ash. Throw a party. Oh, throw a party. party. I can't believe nobody's bought Chinese food yet. <laughs> I, we haven't had the opportunity. Mm -hmm. I know. Too right? busy surfing. Close. Seems like, close. <laughs> yeah. Look. Chinese food and snurfing do not mix. No, they don't. Everyone knows. <laughs> we, we've all seen that commercial, you know. Be Have smart. We? Don't mix Chinese food snurfing. You know? <laughs> oh, we all heard about on. it in our dare classes. No! <laughs> oh, I put you into debt. Yeah. Economics. <laughs> now you're in debt to the resort. You're going to have to win the snurf competition in order to pay it off. Oh, That's right. They're going to bulldoze the mountain. <laughs> They're going to bulldoze the uh, mushroom Ooh. condos, Jasmine. You know, I'll... Uh... Take, well, I got a lot of smarts. Maybe I get a new job. I hope you get a worse job. I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jazzy, fine. Jazzy joined the skate squad, not the snurf squad. <laughs> My goodness. Look, I saw that Yuri on Ice, and I was like, I could do that. <laughs> not I watch Yuri on Ice, I but I do want to watch it. You need to roll anything but that. Um, all right, we'll, we'll go for the, the pewter. Computer. Stop all the download. Give me that crown. I am the princess now. Alright. Alright, let's go, Seagull. This music really is festive. Mm-hmm. It's not time for that yet, okay? Yeah. Okay, so uh we we, we talked Gremlins. Clearly a Christmas movie, right? Ooh. Very yeah. much a Christmas movie. Yep. yep. Now, where do you stand on the Die Hard Christmas movie? Oh. Christmas movie or no Christmas movie? Well, I mean, it's a, it's it's technically a Christmas movie. No, I mean, it takes place during a Christmas party. But it's I a Christmas listen, refuse movie. to call it a Christmas. I'm movie. with you, Rick, except for the fact that the main character at one point says "ho ho ho." At that point, mm. it transitioned. Okay. And there's a dude in a Santa costume, and the the whole like Christmas I, is a bit of a component of the story. Yeah, like, I'm, that's I'm, why he's coming back. That's why you know. I'm mm -hmm. with you that some movies just happen to take place during Christmas, but if the main character is acknowledging Christmas and like brings it into like a story element, then boom. I feel like Iron Man three falls in there because it technically <sighs> takes place on Christmas, but you can kind of forget. Iron Man three is I forget a lot of that one, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bring it up because uh, I think it's the same director, right, or writer, it's Shane Black. Uh, oh. That's... Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. you're right. Dude loves Christmas. Puts it in every movie. Look, right, any, Rick, what you got? any oh, media, sorry. movie, or video game that revolves or happens to be around Christmas is Christmas. <laughs> That's oh, why every... Just, uh, we, there's enough Christmas movies. Why do we have to keep hey! on... Hey, baby. I feel like... Is what? that baby spot always there? And we just never land on it? Yeah, because this is the family spot, or the okay. family... 
I guess path. Jazz lands on it all the time. No, I never hey. land on it. Not that Can one? Me? Okay. No. See, I'm living my dream now. All boy family, okay? Because oh. oh. I've got an all girl family at home right now, right? <laughs> this is this is Bizarro Rick World. Bizarro Rick World. <laughs> yeah, all boys. All right, well, there you go. That's my life right now. <laughs> all boys. But, Stinky yeah. boys. Die Hard, uh, Die Hard 2 also hey, thanks. a Christmas movie. Um, and then Die Hard 3, they changed it up. Summer, fl su Summer. Summer Flick. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was Heat fun. Wave. With the Samuel L. Jackson. Mm -hmm. It's probably my favorite Die Hard, actually. Um, Die Hard with a Vengeance. It's really good. It's real good. It's got Jeremy Irons. Uh, okay. So, with Jeremy Irons, I actually never realized that he was Scar <sighs> in Lion King. Is he? Yeah. I never realized that either. Yeah, I mean, when you hear the voice, mm -hmm. like now when you go back and hear it, now that you know that. Now I'm like, yeah, I get it. I can, I can hear that. But I guess like back then, they're like, we got yeah. this great actor to do it. And I'm like, I don't know who that is. Of course, mm -hmm. as a child, you don't know. Yeah. But now I'm like, oh, oh, hello. <laughs> so speaking of voice acting, I was watching, uh, I'm, I'm re-re-re-re-watching Dex Files. Mm -hmm. um, and there's an episode where, um, I don't want to get into semantics because it's kind of weird. But the lady in the episode has a very unique voice, and I heard the voice. I wasn't even watching. I heard it, and I go, why is Babe Pig in the City in this episode? <laughs> oh, yeah. And it was the lady who did the voice of Babe mm -hmm. Pig in the City. Wow. Um, you just she also it. did the voice of Oblina and Chucky Yep. Uh, oh. from um, Rugrats. Unfortunately, nice. she passed uh, away, though. She did, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I, I, very often when I see actors, I'm like, I'm going to Wikipedia them, see what's going on with them mm -hmm. these days. Yeah. Yeah, she, she dropped out of the uh, voice acting gig, though, before she passed away. Like, back in, like, 2002, she was like, I'm done voice acting. Hmm. I mean, Moved good for her. Moved back to Utah. Oh. Is that considered? That was not Giving considered yourself a spin. Money? No. Oh, come on. It's considered embezzlement come is what that was. Come on. Thank you. One over. Excuse me. I feel the like you had a, something to do with that. <laughs> the surprising thing was, though, that when she was doing Babe... Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. wasn't doing a voice. That's her voice. Mm -hmm. That's like, interesting. She, yeah. Yes, it's just her normal voice. She just kind of sounded like this. I can't remember what Babe sounds like now. It's, it's, it sounds like tra la 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 That's right. It's, it's more of like a childish too. I, mm -hmm. I could never do it. It's it's uh, it's kind of hard to explain how like, it honestly, sounds. Just, just it's more like Tommy Chuck Chuckles. No, yeah. it's Chucky because it, she was Chucky from Rugrats. One. Speaking of voice acting as well, bringing us full circle back to uh, Gremlins, do you know who voiced Gizmo? I did not realize was the voice of Gizmo. No. Who? Howie Mandel. Oh. Of course he, of course he was. <laughs> ah, Howie Mandel. <laughs> Rolling one. Remember Bobby's World? I do right? remember Bobby's World. I loved Bobby's World. Oh, uh, <laughs> Remember, remember when... Uh, uh, who, who was it? Louis Anderson also had yeah. a kid oh, yeah. show. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yes. It's so Rick, weird. They were like, Rick. give Louis Anderson a kid show. Rick. And he's just going to play himself, but a child version. Rick. This is like, I think, the third time you've brought up the Louis yeah. Anderson it's cartoon so in the like, past year. There's nothing about <laughs> Louis Someone Anderson that screams. Remind us, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> nothing about him says, like, kid friendly, but then they give him a cartoon but where he just show. played a weird. Child version of Louis Anderson. Oh yeah, my gosh. Show. No, you talk. Uh, he came and do a Louis. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. Didn't talk like this. But no, not even like that. It's, I talk like. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> it goes back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. No back one, forth none of us are good at it. <laughs> no, I'm Louis terrible Anderson. at voices. I can picture it in my head, oh, but I'm terrible no. at it. Louis Anderson's a really, really sweet guy. If you guys um, watch oh, the. Um, <laughs> the the movies that made us the mm -hmm. new one mm -hmm. they've got the uh, coming to America in there mm. oh, and yeah. he was in coming to America and he, he tells was. the story of how he was in it so he saw Eddie Murphy and his entourage at this like bar mm -hmm. and he bought uh, he covered their entire tab oh mm -hmm. wow. For them. wow and Jeez. he didn't he wasn't like rich enough to do this <laughs> but he was like they will know who I am if I do this <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> And that's, they put him in that's uh, right. coming to America. He was like the uh, the fry cook or something, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's great. Good move on him. Yeah. Yeah. Was that one of his first like movie credits? Yes. Wow. Ooh, I can buy a Ooh. house. Buy the mushrooms. 
Oh, oh I can only ooh. buy one of. Well, oh, actually, you I can, can buy this. You and can get a loan. do it. Yeah. For economics. Give me that loan, oh, baby. Oh my gosh! Look at that. It's so. Oh, cool. it's a bear. Yeah. I better take out several loans for this. Yeah, but if you sell for the full million, that is exactly. definitely worth it. Yeah. yeah. It's worth a lot kinda, of money. It's kind of only if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's one. Economics. People are gonna love this. Mm -hmm. Three. Now that I know that you can pay back more than one loan at a time. Sure. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, if you get lucky, yeah. Yeah, you do need to make that clear though, because there's like you have to arrow over to say mm -hmm. how many you're gonna pay right. off. Right. Oh, I actually see where Rick lives. <laughs> he lives on a mountain, far oh. above Whoville. <laughs> I'm the king of the mountain. <laughs> I think that means you're the Grinch. Stop taking my money. <laughs> no. Money, please. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the bankruptcy uh, oh my God, these bears. the taxes episode. The IRS Why have I never seen these bears? They're coming to reclaim the mountain. Oh no. We've <laughs> got to hold a bake sale at the uh, prom. What? <laughs> See, at the prom. Is, is yeah. prom being held at the, uh, the ski it's resort? It's being held at the lodge because Chad's mom <laughs> lo loves the lodge. <laughs> wow, Chad's mom. It's, dude, 80s, man. <laughs> Simpler time. Only, only like seven uh, students own skis. Why would we do it <laughs> up there? <laughs> because the town's going to lose a staple of the local culture. We got to protect this, the black diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> there was an abundance of uh, skiing movies and karate yeah. movies in yeah. the 80s. Mm -hmm. Like, in the 80s, they really thought karate was going to be Well, during the, the 70s, rage. they had, like, a huge boom in, like, um... That's true. Chinese kung fu movies. Yeah. For sure. But then, like, mm -hmm. they opened up karate, you know, dojos across the entire mm -hmm. country, and they were like, everybody's going to love this forever. Mm -hmm. It's never going to go mm -hmm. out of style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it... It hasn't. It did. Listen. It did. It yeah. hasn't. No, Chuck I drive by all the time. Like, everyone was Taekwondo watching their Chuck studios. Norris, and everyone cool. was like, I want to be Chuck Norris. I have no, no idea how these Chuck Taekwondo Norris. studios stay in business, uh, honestly. I drive by there, there's yeah. never anybody yeah. in that place. Well, how do they stay? Well, it's the got to be a money laundering Ooh. thing. <coughs> no, I'm talking about years before the pandemic. There was, there's never, there's like two kids uh, in there. Yes, you next buttheads. second. You stole it. Rick, you have any idea how much those black belt belts cost? You yeah. <laughs> know? <laughs> like these black belts aren't paying for themselves. Maybe I should join Taekwondo. Actually, I used to take Taekwondo when I was like I a teen. I did when I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, yeah I did when I was a kid, too. My mom, but that's I, how she broke what, her leg, though. <laughs> I did what most kids did, which is I went for like three weeks and then we stopped going. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. went until my mom broke her leg. <laughs> <laughs> she slipped on the coffee stain. Oh, that's <laughs> that is the worst stain? way to break. I'm sorry. That's the worst way to break your leg in Taekwondo. <laughs> it was a uh, they they held classrooms in like a community center, so uh, they had like different ah, events taxes. that would happen. This right, is but it was like, a yeah. spill, not a stain. It was like um, it was like a slick part of the carpet. Jasmine, this is like the okay. exact storyline of like Jiro injuring Bob from Bob's Burgers. Yeah, where Bob with the oil. slips on his stain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Except no one compensated us. <laughs> well, Jiro didn't compensate Bob either. <laughs> well, he gave him, like, massages and free physical therapy. That's a lot. Uh, but he also didn't want to get sued, so, you know. Investment. Take a risk. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, yeah. dun, 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 hey! Dun, dun, dun. You took a risk on me, thanks. Let me invest in that sheep coin. Chance, take You're going to land on, on the same spot as us. <laughs> All three of us. Great. Right here. Great. So what, you're all there? Yep. Baby! Oh. Baby! Well, you couldn't escape the baby. You you went away from the family side, and the baby came to you. Oh my Here's god, this little pet store is adorable. Shut it up. It's cute. Uh. <laughs> it looked like it was like a pet store and brewery, like a Lucky mm -hmm. Lab. Oh, kind of deal. Ash, look at Ooh. you! Cute. Cute. Let's go. Eight. Finally, I've been doing twos. Oh shit. Oh, well, thank God. <laughs> I was scared Ooh. I was gonna land on the taxes. There have been um, a lot of taxes paid this episode. Yep. Let's just keep yep. getting smart. Can't escape. Alright. Whee! 
too. Right in between the houses. Oh my god, that bear. Right in between the houses. Come on. All right, well, we could do another board game battle, but no, we're going to make scrap up. Ensure that banks. piggy. I want as many piggy banks as I can get now. Mm -hmm. It's my only chance. Right. Come on, baby. I'm rolling high. It must be pretty fun making this game and being like, okay, just start populating this entire world with whatever you feel like. Yeah. It's it's very artist heavy mm -hmm. asset packs. Mm. Let's continue live. Is that Santa's workshop? No, oh, I'm gonna go on looks like a, maybe a gingerbread thing up there. Oh, maybe it is. No, yeah, it looks like it's toys. Got, it's got a big like crank handle that's like yeah. constantly yeah. moving on the side. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that costs money. It costs Damn money. It. <laughs> Continue <laughs> life costs money. <laughs> You're just investing yeah. in your future. Yeah. Right? Hope. Mm -hmm. I hope. I really do. Because I've got you, four loans right now. Why don't you just no become a, a There you go, Arctic scientist. Again. Yeah. Hopefully you get paid before you get taxes. I hope so. <laughs> Jeez. I need money. God damn it! Here comes another loan. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, like, no! Those Arctic scientists are making some good money they too. They are, right? Y'all oh, ever seen the movie The Brothers Solomon? No. Uh, oh, so yes. Rick, I feel like you might have seen it. It's got Will Forte and Will Arnett. Yes, 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 yes. In that, they are Arctic scientists. <laughs> they are. <laughs> like, their whole job is, like, they live downtown, but they have these core samples that they got from, like, Antarctica. Oh, come that they on. have to, like, pull out of the freezer every now and then to, uh... <laughs> I've to got to rewatch that movie. I, I love pretty much anything with, uh... Will Forte? Yeah. Yeah. He's great. He's great. Post oh, so Will wow. Arnett is oh, in the new Muppets Halloween uh, special that's on Disney Plus, and it. it's pretty it's pretty solid as well. It's worth it's worth at least a watch. I, mm -hmm. I was gonna ask if y'all had seen that. It, it's, like, it's cute. The haunted mansion or whatever. The yeah, it's, mansion. it's cute. I will say like they do a lot of good like one line jokes, which are pretty fun. Oh, God. Um, they the production <laughs> value is amazing. Rick. I can tell you who's not gonna win. <laughs> Rick, you have gotten last in like all the competitions. Haven't I know, you? and so many times. <laughs> but you know what? I've got this bear house. <laughs> That's true. You've got this. You you have an incredibly expensive home and a whole lot of debt. That doesn't Ooh. sound like danger at all to me. <laughs> Leave my house. It's sustainable. <laughs> Why was Rick <laughs> offered, like, the billion-dollar bear mansion, and I'm right. offered dorms? You pick on well, the you left, get the you get skis. You pick on the right, you get snurf, okay? <laughs> it's snurf or nothing. So you guys okay. know the, the website Zillow? You yes. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Browse yeah. houses and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, they had a program where they would buy houses yep. for people. Mm -hmm. um, my sister took advantage of that. Oh, really? Uh, I just saw an article... That was like uh, Zillow's ending that because two thirds of the properties that they bought are underwater. Yep. Yep. Uh, wow. They bought my sister's house for five hundred sixty thousand dollars. Wow. They sold Good it for, for five hundred forty thousand. Like, they wow. lost twenty thousand dollars on just yeah. the sell. The wow. overall, uh, like, uh, for one, I'll say that when me and Jasmine were selling, we kind of looked into that as well. Skate tax. And they only buy somewhat newer homes, like homes that are built in, mm. like, the last 40 years or so. Right. Um, yeah. But then beyond that, everyone is sort of under the assumption that Zillow was trying to manipulate the market by buying they things were. at a higher price in neighborhoods to drive up the price of comparables. Um, Allegedly. That, that they also owned in the neighborhood. Um, allegedly, but that's, that's allegedly, yeah, but just say made, allegedly, please. It made yeah. no sense. My sister got her house appraised. They offered her like four eighty for hey. it, and then Zillow came back the next day and they were like five sixty. It's like what? That's so so good for your sister. Awesome yeah. for her. Yeah, yeah uh, she got in at like the perfect time because hey, they only money. bought houses for like a month, and she got in there for it. It was uh, very bizarre. Oh, anyway. Taxes. <laughs> Zillow also had to take out five loans. They also <laughs> yeah, they had did. to um, fire like 25% of their staff. Oh, wow. Yeah, they. Because of the whole thing. Yeah, once they announced like just how bad their. Uh their real t realty portion, not, I guess. No! Whatever, whatever that portion of their business was. Yeah. Son of a bitch! <laughs> they, their stocks crashed. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you keep doing this to me, game? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big Zillow coming back at you. <laughs> it is. They heard me. 
They hacked into the game. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one of you told them? <laughs> <laughs> They're always listening. Always. Um, you know, let's, let's see if we can get some more money. So I know Rick's not going to win it. <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh, well, you're definitely wow. not winning it either. Wow! wow. The hubris. Don't worry, y'all. <laughs> Hold my beer. Rick's got it. Rick's got it. Right, here we Rick, go. Go kart like you never Ooh, go karted before. Type. Oh, thank God! If oh. it was a red eye, I was going to laugh oh, so wow. hard. Oh wow! Look, this Good is job, where my luck Rick. turns around. Thank you. I want to point out that when Rick doesn't lose. <laughs> Ash and I tied the bottom, so nobody got 10k. <laughs> 10k is reserved for Rick. Uh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Ah, that was the money I just won! Whee! I want to buy a house. Well, so I guess we're another generation. board game battle. <laughs> Here we go again, guys. What a dream. Six. Oh, man. Let's go. Nope, that wasn't enough. Hey, 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 hey. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, here it goes. Everybody get 200,000 so I can get the 80 at least. Hmm. Damn. Now I'm getting 40. <laughs> Ash, get a one. <laughs> there, that's good enough. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me the money. I'll Price take is it. too Dang. rich. I'll take it. It's too rich. I got money, but y'all have more icons than I do. Would you like to trade? I do um, have one crown. One of my debt icons. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll offer you one. <laughs> okay. <well. laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, oh, let's get a raise. Can you I got get the a raise? Best job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can always get a raise. I might not be able to get a better job, though. <clears throat> All right, Seagull. Seagull's we can do on this. the beach. Can you hear my prayer? <laughs> <laughs> Star and Barb, so good. Everyone that out there. It is so good. It is so good. If you, if, if you like that sort of SNL type of uh, humor, then I think you should watch Star and Barb. It's the best movie. Ooh, you're coming from my hearts. Get out of here. I'd say it's tagline, but I don't think I, that'd go against YouTube. It's a real tit flapper? Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, I think tit's okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's not. Let's not. Let's not push it. <sighs> oh, that movie's great. I love that movie. I also love that it's a musical, which is even better. Yeah. Because, like, you don't even expect it, and then it happens, and you're like, what? It's so good. There's a lot of mm. music in it. Mm -hmm. um, they also filmed it in um, New Mexico, too, which is interesting. Did they? Wow, yeah, everybody's a scientist? Except for me. My goodness. Where'd they film the beach scenes? Uh, like, southern New Mexico. <laughs> There's no beach in New Mexico. Well, no, actually, um... Maybe they did film some parts in Florida, but the most of the, like, the majority of it was in uh, New Mexico. Mm. There must be good tax breaks in New Mexico. Mm. There, there definitely is now. Um, yeah, yeah. especially uh, since all the movie studios moved out of Georgia, they're mm -hmm. all doing ah. it in New Mexico. Hey. hey, hey, hey. Well, maybe I can get a better job. <laughs> maybe you can join us all in the uh, Arctic science. I mean, if they're hiring. Yeah, because Mel's sister, she works. Uh, <laughs> Let's do it. She works costume for for the movies, mm -hmm. and we went and visited her in Albuquerque. She uh, filmed the uh, um, the new Angelina Jolie Ooh. movie that's on HBO. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, cool. what is that one? I, I've seen trailers. She she did the costume for that. Right on. Wow, for her. Jazz, you have so many. Let's just let's just learn these languages. No one's. Stealing the brains from Jazzy. All right, give me a no house. No one's gonna. I don't think that's getting me a house. You're welcome. Wee. I'm just gunning through life now. Mm-hmm. Well, that's gonna mess me up a little bit. I mean, you can um, always get a house if you take the risky path. I have had horrible luck <laughs> with those. <laughs> 
random things. Oh my god. I'm getting through life again. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm in is, trouble. This now. is what happens when you work through retirement. Yeah, yeah. Just passes you back. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess I'll just try and hold on to this if I can. Try. Hold on. All right, Rick, what you got? Uh, I have got... Stop! Okay, hey. is anybody ahead of me right now? I am. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, you know what? At this point, risky. risky. Let's go. What do I got to lose? <laughs> Money. Except my son and my husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. Except, they yeah. are ready to leave me. They have one foot out the door. Oh, my God. It's over, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> they are packing here. up and they are staying yeah. at their mother's house. <laughs> oh my god. Do not contact us. Oh man. Poor Rick. Right. What <laughs> Poor one up for it's Rick, all, guys. It's all falling apart. Arctic science just did not pay off for you. Nope. <laughs> I'm zooming. What was I thinking? <laughs> Look, we Aww. can't all make the big bucks in Arctic science, okay? Not everyone's gonna be a rock star. Uh, oh my all God, right, these bears! Money. I love them. Sh Sean McGillicuddy, just champion of Arctic science. You're no McGillicuddy. Wow! <laughs> You're saying Dude. that to his face and stuff. <laughs> well, why don't you prove me wrong on the Snurf course? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I don't own skis. <laughs> Woo! I have completed Back two of those puzzle pieces. Dang. Nice. Two of the uh, the book puzzle pieces. Cool. One. Oh, look at Because you there. got so many. Gosh. Okay. Did you say Congrats. snow many? <laughs> snow many. Uh, we're gonna go pension because there's no like, I could try and hold on to my piggy bank thing, but otherwise yeah. it's just not worth it. Yeah. I mean, you can make money with Elsa over there. Yeah. Give me the, give me them hundos. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. There we go. First one. Let's go. Price keep you that have up. so much money. I know, and I want to keep it that way. Oh, this is. Can I have a little bit? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Rosalina style. No, not a chance. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I rolled too high. Yep. I rolled too high. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe you might join me. get really lucky with your uh, house. Yeah. If you sell it for the full mill. I get one choice. <laughs> yep. I get one. Hey, Maybe hard of the cards. chance. Okay. Heart of the cards. It. One shot. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad. I really wish it would show you where the hundred I is because it's just killing me. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, yeah. Just like I really wish uh, Family Feud would tell us what country was in the news <laughs> recently. <laughs> I know everybody in the comments is like, it's got to be Russia, but mm. you never know, and you, you will know. never know. <laughs> yeah. That's the killing part. That's what kills me on the inside. <laughs> I'll never have that nice that knowledge. Hey. I'll be restless as a ghost, not knowing what that answer is. That's what that's gonna bind us in yep. our afterlife. Yep. But which country was it? <laughs> Tell me, Lucky. That's like they're they're like picking us up on the spirit box, you know. It's yeah. just like <laughs> hey, your ass. what country was it? Right, let me buy another house. Ah oh, man, don't do it. Just let me buy Rick's house. You he just sold it. Nope, can't have it. <laughs> Zillow got it. <laughs> they, they need to. <laughs> Zillow's taking they a need bath to do some on that one. Renovations well. on it. Yeah, after what oh, you did man. to it, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, it, it's true. <laughs> Flying. My goodness. Whee. Oh, yep, zooming. Yep. Ten. Yeah. Jesse has ten books, y'all. What you gonna do with all those books? Read them. Yeah, go. right. <laughs> no one's read ten books. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's impossible. <laughs> I love that because I feel like ten is such a reasonable <laughs> number of books. You know what the sad part though is most Americans probably probably yeah, not. It's, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's just like it's such a like. It's such a reasonable number. <laughs> it is. It's very reasonable. Ten? Yeah, I feel like yeah, you probably, yeah, yeah. Ten books are easy. Ten, that's, everybody can read ten books. I can guarantee you that my father and mother have neither of them have read ten books in their lives. 
Not even during school? I mean, maybe during school. Outside of school, though, like no. For, like for enjoyment, yeah. No. I read the entire Discworld series in like a summer, and that was fun. Yeah. Like, I think I think I got 10 out of the Wizard of Oz alone. I read also, all of the... Uh, Harry Potter that, gets you there. And almost. Rice books when I worked at a cab company, because I literally just got to sit in a cab for eight hours a night mm -hmm. doing nothing. Oh, wow. I got paid to sit in a car. Nice. Yeah, I had a friend who did like a security job, and then he just read all night long. My job was to park cabs. The cabs would come in two shifts a night, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they would park all cattywampus, and then I had to straighten out the cars. That was my job. <laughs> so twice a night, I would just have to repark all the cabs. Nice. <gasps> the, it's the snail. The snail. It's the, it's the snail. snail. <laughs> it found you. You found you, Ash. You gotta run, man. You gotta run. Dang it, you stole my pig crown. I did. I did do that, yes. <laughs> How dare you? Some people were suggesting like being friends with the snail. Just, just be friendly with it. That goes against the traveling. spirit of the no, thing. No, like, yeah, the, the whole thing is like he's. That's like, your as arch impossible nemesis. as reading ten books. Exactly. <laughs> Listen. Oh, you read? Okay, name every book. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> right well, Ash. name every book. That's perfect. <laughs> oh man. Ash, let's have a costume contest. Okay. Oh. What are you dressing up as? I came as a snail. I mean, <laughs> IRL this year, I dressed up in my big sloth onesie. Oh, okay, okay. Was it good enough? No, not one, good no enough. one as good as a snail. <laughs> one as good as a snail. You should have said a box of salt. Yeah. Jasmine lied. Because <laughs> she dressed up in a, in a Daigo costume. <laughs> Seen it. It was good. It was warm. <laughs> ah! Butts. That was such a half hearted spin, too. I, I've put a full heart into that. Mm. Put a full fart into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's the difference? <laughs> a better spin. <coughs> wow. wow. Less stinky. It might have been on uh, black. Could have been. Could have been. Could have been. Know. We don't. We'll never know. Never know. All right, what are we doing? Never knew. There's dozens of us. Here's just gonna put me <clears throat> right oh. there. All right, I get one more spin. One more shot. Uh, Might as well try to sell your house. I'm not going to catch up to Jazzy in her damn books. <laughs> no, she's got ten books. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. My reasonable amount of books. The family chalet. <laughs> Look at that seagull <coughs> looming largely <laughs> over your house. Looking for that 560. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh. 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 Ten... Okay, oh, got, oh Ash is the real Zilla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Bad Zilla. My goodness. All right, let's see where I go. Where are you going? Whee! What are you buying? Ooh, I might, I might retire. Yeah, yeah. you're retiring. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Didn't realize you're I was that close. Con buying a condo in Florida. That's what you're buying. Whee! Down in Boca Raton. Mm -hmm. Going down to Rat's Mouth. <laughs> Going down to Santa Barbara. A, what a what a name for a place. That is literally what it yeah. means. It's so weird. Boca Raton sounds a lot fancier. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. There you go. There you last go. spin. Oh, Jazzy could be close. Got that one debt though. Yeah. I mean, I think you're ahead of me. Maybe I'll get something here. Come on. There we go. I think Ash has it though. Like no, no, two no. Crowns you have so much money. I do have a yeah, lot of money. Yeah, Ash doesn't have nearly as much money as you. But Ash has two crowns, and he still can sell a house. That's true. Ash has assets. <laughs> he definitely does. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my goodness. I'm, this is the last turn. I'm building equity. Yes, because he's going <laughs> to retire. Is that what you call it, Ash? <laughs> wow, you rolled a one. If only. <laughs> All right. That money. That's all I needed. It's not wasteful. Hmm. All right, 350 is what you could get. I rolled the lowest on both of these. <clears throat> yeah, you really zillowed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't steal from anybody, so it's bad. Is that gonna be the new? Like, this this 100k could be what determines the game because I have no idea how close we are. I wonder when the uh, Webster's Dictionary is gonna add zillow to their uh, definitions. Let's make it happen. Zillow's the new Reddit. It really is. 
Rhea being a Zilla. All right, let's You're see really how close we are. A Z. You're a no good Z. <laughs> uh, total money. You're a GDZ. We all have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. We do have a lot of money. <laughs> let's go. Okay, okay. That's like all I got. Points. Look at all my books. Ooh, man. I think Ash has it, though. The crowns. Yeah, Ash gets it. Yeah, wow. yep, there it is. Wait, it's not over yet, guys. <laughs> it's oh. not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Rickonomics. Yay! Oh, Bryce, you Jazzy, were just like... we were so close. What was that, 40? We like 40 points. Oh, so man. So close. Well, well done. done. Well done Good job, Ash. Ash, you crushed it. You crushed it, even Thank though you, you sold your houses at Zillow prices. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. That's been Game of Life. Let's uh, let's continue on here and see what. Do I unlock any puzzle pieces? I definitely got more puzzle pieces, but nothing, no new items. Oh uh, yeah. Man, I am close. Age of Giants. I'm like one away from a uh, a car. I might need to play that one. Um, no, I'm not unlocking anything for sure. Ooh, I'm close on Fairy Tale <laughs> Kingdoms as well. We should do that next time. <laughs> I'm not close on any of them. All right, y'all. That's what we're going to call for Game of Life 2. I hope y'all are still enjoying watching these. If you are, please let us know down in those comments below. With that, we were stumped. I've been Ashley, Rick Price, and Jasmine. We'll catch y'all next time. Bye. Bye, everybody.